Hey, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Surround Scent, where I teach you to elevate your surroundings to a sanctuary through the magic of fragrance using candles, colognes, and car scents. So without further ado, man, I'm gonna jump right into this list. This is going to be part three of our blue fragrance saga. Now this time I'm bringing you some blue fragrances that are gonna be super high in projection, super high in quality, super high in longevity, but super low in price. So without further ado, let's get into these cheap blue fragrances. And we have number one, gotta do Versace Eros. We have Versace Eros, the Eau de Toilette. This is, was the quintessential party time, going out night in a town fragrance. It is aquatic, it is citrusy, it's sweet, slightly masculine, uh, but you know, you're really getting that citrus and the uh, pop up top. The longevity is gonna be lacking on this one, I'll let you know. But if you're just going out for that night in a town, you probably only need it for 46 hours. So with that being said, cannot go wrong with Versace Eros. Eau de Toilette 2, Dolce and Cabana K, Eau de Toilette. Love this, uh, love the bottle, by the way, with the crown. But with that being said, man, this is a quintessential by the body of water, by a beach fragrance. It is sweet, it's aromatic, it's slightly citrusy, aquatic, woody. My only gripe with this particular fragrance is the longevity, to be honest with you. Like, if this one lasted uh, as long as the Eau de Parfum, my God, we have and a we have the Blues by Nautica. We have Nautica Blue as well as Nautica, the original. Now, these are two that have been in my fragrance collection from day one, probably since, you know, teenage years. But with that being said, they are both great blue fragrances. I tend to lean more towards the uh, Nautica Blue uh, because this one has a bit more uh, staying power, has a bit more longevity and projection. It is denser and richer, you know, as the name and as the uh, colors imply, this one is gonna be your fresher, you know, daytime by the beach, you know. This is gonna be your, you know, nighttime, you know, dressing it up, going somewhere. But I definitely do dig both of the fragrances. And that's going to be Nautica Another and the one that you can get cheap at discounters now. This is going to be Dior Sauvage, the Eau de Toilette. And the Eau de Toilette is giving you that masculine, ambery, citrusy, aquatic vibe that you're getting from the entire Dior Sauvage line. But this one is hitting you with more citrus and more freshness up top. Uh, then the Eau de Perfume, which is going to give you... This one is hitting you with more freshness and citrus up top than the Eau de Parfum, which is gonna be giving you super spice with some nutmeg, star anise, and Szechuan pepper in the mid with the ambery vanilla uh, uh, vibe from that fragrance. This one takes that, but it strips the uh, ambery vanilla vibe, the sweetness, and also strips the uh, spice from the nutmeg and Szechuan pepper. Now we're gonna move on to my last fragrance. This is going to be Jimmy Choo Man Blue. And the Jimmy Choo Man Blue, I love this fragrance because it's super, super affordable. Even in the, uh, the full sizes, this one is running you 60 bucks at best. But with that being said, I love this particular fragrance because it's fresh, it's citrusy, it's aquatic, it's giving you that beach vibe. But the thing about this one is you're getting a super, super vanilla nuance, which gives a powdery facet to the uh, fragrance. It's gonna be very, very powdery. So if you don't really care for the uh, powderiness of certain fragrances, especially the blue fragrances, this one might not be for you. That's been my only complaint that people have had with it. But my God, when spraying it on, it really, it gives you a complexity that you really wouldn't expect at this price point or you know, even from Jimmy Choo. But with that being said, man, you're getting some citrus, you're getting sweetness, vanilla, you're getting aquatics, you're getting woods. Definitely a banger fragrance. And this can hold its own in cool weather. This is one of my favorite uh, blue fragrances to wear in the cool weather. So do not sleep on it and think that it's just for summertime, people. I'm trying to tell you. That is Jimmy Choo Man Blue. So with that being said, man, that is my list of 
blue fragrances. Those are uh, all my list, my whole little saga. We have we started off with the top five, and then we moved on into beast mode, and now we're down to our affordable uh, blue fragrances. So with that being said, man put a lot of work into this a lot of thought into this man so i really appreciate you guys liking commenting and subscribing down below if you got any of these fragrances or if you found that i should have added some uh blue fragrance or two to the list that you know you may have that i missed definitely put me on you might you might be able to help me with my next purchase hit that notification bell so when i drop it you got it i'm jay will with surround scent i'll see you on the next one